so you're a cancer survivor. How did you, I mean, how did you find out that you had cancer? Um, oh, I found the, by myself I, that I have a lamp when I take care of my neighbor's cat because my neighbor also cancer survivor and she was surgery over two nights. So I was taking care of her cat and okay, cancer, I feel okay cancer is really scary how does she notice and maybe she touched by herself on her boobs and i tried maybe like this oh my god i have lump too oh no okay and so yeah. okay you caught it and then did you i guess you caught it early enough that um um you able to do something then but but i did not believe myself just it I feel just lump, but it, I feel it's not cancer. You just thought but, it was a regular lump. You're like, yeah. that could be anything. Yeah. So I told my friend and my friend told me, okay, you should go to doctor to buy, feel comfortable. Maybe doctor will tell you it's not cancer. This way you can comfortable. So I went to doctor and he told me, okay, it's not cancer. 99% it's not cancer. So I feel <gasps> comfortable. She said it wasn't cancer. Oh my God. <laughs> and he told, but it was a pretty much big lump. So we decided uh, just lump it to me. Okay. Um, so after lump it to me, after I think two weeks, doctor called me. You have to come to our office, and I went to his office, and he told me, "Okay, this is cancer." <gasps> okay, so it's wow. Oh my goodness! So you didn't find out till two weeks after they took it out. Yes. <sighs> what yes, was your reaction when they told you that? that? <laughs> How did you feel when you got that news? Uh. I couldn't understand. Uh, I I thought of, okay. I couldn't understand my English. My English skill was limited. <laughs> so. It's okay. Me too. Okay. So when the doctor said uh, no, that no, no. it's, I, I thought uh, I did not believe he, what he said because uh, I was thinking my English skill skill is limited. Oh, uh, okay. So I feel, okay. He told me I have cancer, but. Uh, Maybe I couldn't understand what he said. <laughs> like, I maybe I heard you wrong. Like, can we get an interpreter in here? Because I feel like he said I have cancer, but maybe I just don't know English enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So how, um, what age were you when you found this out? Hmm? How old were you when you, when you found um, out you had cancer? I think 34. 34? 34. Wow, that's so scary. And then, so he said it's cancer. And then what was, what came after that? Then, oh, I didn't know cancer. Uh, I thought cancer is before surgery. They can tell me what stage and they can tell me I have a spread or I don't have a spread. They can tell me all the information. I thought so, but... Uh, the doctor told me cancer is uh, before before surgery. Uh, nobody knows. It, they so, didn't know if it had spread or not. Yeah. So doctor told me, "I uh, he does not know. I need uh, chemotherapy or I need uh, the the uh, radiation or I need only surgery." So I thought, okay, I should go back to Japan and I get a treatment with my parents. Yeah. But the penthouse the owner, the last owner, Kelly Holland, uh, she told me, let me introduce uh, City of Hope, which is uh, one of the biggest cancer doctor. And I went uh, before you go back to Japan. And so... I went to City of Hope and uh, they are very nice. So I decided I'm going to fight with my cancer here <laughs> with City of Hope. Was it a little scary to to like make that decision like I'm going to stay? But, and the City of Hope, is that in 
Los Angeles? Is that in California or mm-hmm. okay? Um, I think the surgery day it was I feel really scary. But before surgery, I did not feel scary because I did not feel it's real. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So how long, like, um, so you had the lumpectomy. How long between then did you have, like, the surgery? September, I think September, the lumpectomy, then next of March, so which is three. Oh, after six months, they give me the main surgery, which is the double mastectomy D- or double, the, no, okay. the construction surgery. Wow. And then so how long after the double mastectomy did you, you know, get the reconstructive surgery? Uh, my my first reconstruction surgery was at the same time, same day. Oh, the same day. Okay, yeah. wow. But, uh, yes, but uh, I was not uh, satisfied. I think uh, normally cancer people is satisfied. I think they feel... Uh, uh, we are happy as long as we are alive. So, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, no, I want a nice yeah. rack. Yeah. And my goal is back to industry. My biggest goal is so I feel okay. Uh, I can't. <laughs> so I decided uh, I reconstruction surgery again. So I thought I reconstruction surgery five times. You had also, five reconstructive surgery. Wow. Also, for. I lost my nipple right side. You so, lost your left nipple? Yes, because where did it, it go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows where it went. Because you know, they like a kind of fisting, they open my boobs and the fisting and take out all my inside the boobs. The material, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, tissue. So, so my nipple is come out. <laughs> Oh my God! I mean, <laughs> you lose a nipple. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> but I get a fake nip. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Did it match closely? Like, is it? Does it look okay? I mean, you don't have to, yeah. don't have to show me. I don't want to get banned. But I, like, <laughs> I wish I can show you. <laughs> oh my God! You have to come on my other show and show me. But here, you two, we can't, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Doctor called. This is a very new surgery and the nipple implant. They find the very matching my <laughs> implant. That's pretty amazing. I mean, like they sold. Do you like? Do you think it looks pretty? I mean, it must look pretty close. I mean, I, I feel like you yeah, can't but tell. If I don't tell, it's a fake. Uh, nobody noticed. I think. Wow, that's pretty but amazing. Before, Every single my shoot, I have to tell uh, my co performer, okay, this is on my right side, this is fake nip. So you you can touch me, but uh, you can't squeeze. <laughs> Don't squeeze. The left one is fake or the right one is fake? This uh, right side is fake. The right one's fake. So okay. If they squeeze, it, it's come out. So you guys have to find my nip. <laughs> You're like, don't squeeze it, it'll come off. You're like, <laughs> not to scare you, but yeah. What is the what is the fake one made of? Implant. Okay, okay. It's just made of so implant. Implant right. and uh, but uh, then put the implant and uh, cover my skin. Okay. Wow. I mean, technology is so amazing, isn't it? 